What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Therizinosaurus. I think I'm saying that right. So this is from Jurassic World Dominion. So Therizinosaurus poster. So kind of more the body in this one than we're used to drawing on this channel. So the head is quite small. I, I had to fit in those big claws. You can't really throw, draw Therizinosaurus without those massive, terrifying claws. So. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, right? So we'll start with the head up here. I might have to zoom in a little bit because the head is a little bit smaller than what we're used to drawing. So to get the details in and stuff, we might have to zoom it in for you. So let's go. I like to start with the eyes in this. Just gets a central point that I can build around. So we're going to go eye line up and down right, like that. And then we'll bring it around like so. We're going to give a sort of a cat-like eye there like that. And then we're going to add some detail lines around. So like eye, eyelid lines. Like so. Like as much texture and stuff as you want. Going around us. Maybe another. Line like that. So then he seems to have a scaly sort of frown sort of section that comes around the eye. So Let's go for it. So it kind of comes around the eye here. So we join sort of another sort of eyelid area. Going around here. And then comes down around the back. And in underneath the eye here. Right, so it's like it looks like a circle, but it goes around, bumps around the top here like this, and down around the back. It's like a bone or something that comes around the head and then goes off this way. Right, and then this has another bony section here. to a point around there. Right, and this will have like all the scales. And things sort of on it here. Right, and some going around the back of the eye as well. All these wrinkles and things. Okay. Right, so this snout will keep going down to here. And then we meet this beak, right? So it like carves down to a point and then goes back into there. And then this goes around like so. And then the bottom of the mouth goes down this way. Right, so it kind of looks like a bird. He has got a nostril right up here. And then some like detail lines just coming across here. And across the sort of top lip area. And then the beak as well will have all this texture on it too. And you know, wrinkles and 
dots and stuff are always good to add on dinosaurs to sort of make them stand out a little bit more. And these sort of scales and stuff up here. So the back of the head is like furry or feathered. I'm not sure. So it kind of will will do kind of both. It looks kind of hairy, really. It could be feathers, right? So it kind of comes back back that way, and it joins the sort of face here. And then the bottom jaw comes around like so, and then comes down. To another beak section down here so another sort of pointy kind of beak section there then the top lip sorry the top of the bottom jaw the lip here comes up and then join the edge of the mouth like so and then we'll do some texture on this They have this scaly part usually most dinosaurs do on the on their lips and the rim of their mouth and then like lots of wrinkles and textures and stuff on his scaly mouth there so we can kind of see the the tongue sticking out just here right so it goes up, and down, back in like so, and then we have like that skin flap on the side of the mouth there, and maybe some like texture on the tongue. And because of the angle that we're looking at it from, we can see the other side of the mouth as well. So we have some more beak on this side and it kind of bumps down. Around here to another piece of skin there. And then something similar on this side. So the other side of the mouth is around underneath the tongue there. And then we can see teeth, but really, really small teeth. Okay, like way smaller than you'd think so. And then like another row of teeth inside here, but like comes down on the inside of the mouth. It's like some lines for like the roof of the mouth here. And then the teeth on this side are like in here. So, and then we can see a little bit of teeth on the opposite side of this mouth. I mean, they're really small. They're like crazy small teeth. In there. And then real long neck. And again, furry sort of thing. Like light kind of hairs on the neck here. Real light on the edge, and then like real furry then on this side. So I know sort of hair spikes here. And 
and then the neck goes up that way. And then like texture. Inside there, and then there seems to be like some scales in here. So just these carbon lines following the neck, like that. Okay, so he's kind of jumping at us with our claws or like going that way with the claws anyway. So we got to like two shoulders coming out from here. We'll, we'll try and add them. So say like, let's say from the bottom of the neck, we'll add some Like hand here, shoulder, inside shoulder. So like inside of the arm here, right? And then the shoulder on the outside kind of like is furry. So it comes around this way. And then there seems to be like an inner fur line here as well. And then his elbow sticks out here and it's real hairy. And then the forearm will kind of come around here. This is still hairy going in towards the hand right there. And again, like this will have all scale marks. So there's a claw here, but we'll just do the other shoulder first, right? So we got some hair there, and then the other arm, scaly kind of thing, coming down here. The inside of this arm will be the armpit, so under the shoulder, so there, and then. Bring it down around. That way. And again, his elbow gets quite hairy, so. So a little bit of fur on the underneath of the arm there. And then the forearm goes out this way. So, right, so then we'll do this claw, right? So, hand kind of comes around here. Right, and the top of the hand is like here. He doesn't have any thumbs, he just has these big, like massive kind of claws, basically. So, so like a bump around for the skin. here All right and then we'll do another bumping section just for skin around here so the claws stick out from these like fingers basically and another one here okay so then big claws come out of each of these and we'll make them wrinkly so Say like a big clock coming out here. This will go right down to the bottom of my page now. You can make those bigger or longer. It's kind of depends on what style you want to do. Right, 
like that and then shorter one here like so and if you want like texture lines on these like that and then maybe some hand lines just in here some hair wrist bones maybe right and then we'll attempt to do another one here so we've got like this is in a different position right so what we have here is say like where the nails come out so we'll just do one two three we kind of in a line and then we have to do the skin for the fingers coming around right So all these wrinkly sort of skin lines just coming around. And then more sort of arm lines and stuff here. And then those big massive claws then, so. Just put some texture on them. Right, so they feel like big bananas. <laughs> so, uh, crazy looking dinosaur, he's so cool. So, chest, middle of the chest here. Right, like that. And then the body sort of comes down this way, underneath the claws. All wrinkles and stuff. Lots of scales. Boop. Like that. Right, so then we can see a leg here and the back and another leg. Right, so we'll do this leg here first. It's kind of, it seems to be a little bit hairy on the side here. And then the knee just curves around like this. Like so, and then the thigh on this side into there. And then we have like a kneecap, like heavy wrinkles. And... Stuff on that. And then, Make some more sort of wrinkle lines and things on there. So then this is the heel and it kind of comes down towards the foot, whatever I can see of it anyway. So the foot will just go off my page. The toe kind of here. Wrinkles on the toe. Okay, and then the back, so big sort of hairy spiking back here. And the tail will go this way again, spiky. Hairy tail, and the bottom of it is scaly. So this back comes down, and this is like smooth because it's scales basically. And then we have like a fur line coming down the tail. So 
So all these kind of scaly lines, just like that. And then the other leg comes down here. The knee is kind of in here somewhere. And then the calf runs down that way. And then we'll have like wrinkles on the knee. Move the line that way and some more sort of scaly sort of stuff. There. Um, and then like you can add as much texture and scales and stuff as you want then to the dinosaur or you can color or not shade it in with a pencil even, you know, just add some shadows maybe along the bottom sides of objects. That's the easiest way to shadow. If you put your light source from here, put a shadow under the chin, down the neck, bottom of the arms, you know, you don't have to color then. That's what I normally do. Okay, there you go. Theri Xenosaurus, cool dinosaur. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.